Alright guys, so today we're gonna do an experiment. We're gonna see if there's any difference in the loading time of Windows, like from opening up, from load, launching Windows and also launching different applications between a 970 EVO, as M.2, 500 gig, and a WD Blue SSD 500 gig. So, and then you're also going to be comparing that between a normal hard drive so that you guys have a bit of a representative of like what's the performance improvements to see like, to see if they're spending a lot more for an M.2 drive they can easily cost you almost $200 for 500 gigs or you could just spend less than $100 and get 500 GB or 480 GB as the SSD Alright, to conduct the test, we'll be running uh, we'll, be, we'll be booting Windows 3 times in a row and measuring the time so it to go from off to your login screen then after that we'll see how long it takes for you to launch a google chrome tab and also let's just see how long it just take to open up premiere pro because premiere pro is a big file for people with hard drives like i came from a, using a normal hard drive before it takes about but maybe two or three minutes at best let's say let's say if your hard drive isn't doing windows updates in the background because you can't stop that windows updates are really annoying so we're going to see that, so we're going to conduct the test now with Fate system, which is the 970 EVO M.2. So we're going to see. Yeah. Yeah, man, three times. Yeah. You got to keep the test fair, so three times. Yeah. Hell yeah, just get started. Yeah. Okay, peeps, so we're going to take, we're going to take you along uh, the testing for one round. Now that we're going to do it, because doing the same thing three times over and over again for three different systems ain't going to be fun. So we're just going to test it right now. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we have turned on the computer. <laughs> I have my stopwatch ready. So well, ready when you are ready. Three, two, one, go. The light comes on. Oh no. Oh no, oh, RGB oh, light comes on. Very fast, I'm saying. No, 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 just go to the light long screen. You don't need to type. Oh, no. oh you got that. The lights oh, 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 oh. You know what, it might be actually due to your, like, your motherboard too, it like, depends on how fast you get the post. Yeah, let's see how many rounds. There is no rounds at all! No rounds. Oh, and... Yeah. The system is okay. posed. 28 seconds, I would say, because I saw that 28 seconds. <laughs> uh, plus minus, you actually get it. You know, the human reaction time isn't that perfect. Yeah. <laughs> we humans are not the best at doing this. That's why we do it three times to cut down the, the chances that the human reaction time messed up the results. So yeah, three more times, two more times, here we come. Finally, okay, reach the screen, that's it. Alright. Alright, so... For a normal hard drive, welcome boys, you have one minute. <laughs> you wasted one minute, 14 seconds of your life every day when you turned on your computer with a normal HHD when you could only spend 20 seconds with an M.2 drive that will set you back over 150 plus dollars. Hell yeah. So yes, see, yes, see if there's a cheaper alternative which is an SSD. I mean like the Sanders Plus SSDs or the Sanders Ultra 2 SSDs or the WD Blues if you can find them. Okay, I guess now we're back at home and now we're gonna do the test with the SSD which is a WD Blue SSD. So we're gonna see how it compares out towards a normal hard drive which is obviously gonna dominate it and compared to the M.2 which is the 970 EVO. So let's go find out now. In the case then you'll be thinking like what enough our M.2 use for like those 970 EVOs but those are for like really high transfer, transfer speeds like up to one to one to two gigabytes per second. So you say you have a whole bunch of like games to download, like maybe more than that CSGO or you have Gmod and Gary's mod with a lot of uh plugins enabled. Having this but uh speed extra speed uh, there with a good internet connection like one GPS and you can utilize that bandwidth then you can use it for the computer. You'll be downloading things at one gigabytes per second and storing it at one gigabytes per second so there'll be no bottlenecking. Unlike for mine, mine is limited up to 500 megabytes a second, so which is half a GPS. So I'll be limited to half a GPS on this computer. So yeah, that's probably why I see the same setting. So Windows doesn't really use more than half a GPS of speed. But then for applications where like it's downloading things at one GPS, it will take advantage of having a faster storage. So yeah, I'm going to display the test results here. As you can see, my hypothesis is following the test results quite a fair bit. So, in 
this case, I'll say if you guys want to save more, you can go for SSD. But if you have like a lot of storage and you have a, a lot of extra cash, go ahead and buy it. Not do. There's one more thing. SSDs require a 2.5 inch drive base, something like this. This requires this uh, SSD size is something like this, but not as heavy as a mechanical hard drive. So they they use a bit more space compared to M.2 drives. But you could get a SATA version of M.2 drives, yes, but then it's still a bit more expensive than a normal SSD. So if you say you have really lacking on space, you could probably go for M.2s. There's probably another reason why you want to go for M.2, but don't go for such a cheap ones because some cheap ones do fail prematurely. So you have to be careful with that too. Well, if you guys like this video, leave a like, subscribe, share a comment down below. I'll link my cameraman YouTube channel in the description down below. He does mostly edits for school things or maybe other things. So see you guys in the next one. Peace out. <laughs>